Hi there, this is your tarot readings by M for the week starting 30th of um, March 2020. And just before I start with, the, with these cards, I wanted to give you a few information about energies that we, that we are all surrounded with in this week. I mean, it is important things that are happening in the sky this week, like Mars is going into Aries. We are already into the um, Aries season, Sun is down there. Um, just after a couple of days, Mars will conjunct with Saturn. It's all all good, nothing is bad is happening that side, particularly this first half of the week. It tells you whatever you do, do with um, put with with the uh, vigor, with the put action into it, uh, uh, put intention into whatever you're doing. It doesn't need to be always oh do something new. No, it can be all things that you do that you want to move forward with. It is energy of move forward. If you want to change something within yourself, if you're gonna think of yourself, want to change it, you don't want to be that what you were in some aspect of your life, now you think of it, now you put action, that is the energy of action, Mars is there, in Aquarius, but now Aquarius is a sign of, of others as well, it's not just self, so it seems to me that whatever we do now in combination with uh, Saturn this week, it will be other people involved it will involve other people too that we all the time will be thinking not just about ourselves but how we and our interest our love for ourselves good our own good is fitting with common good good for for, for the others as well like that is going to be team at least for um, it that's going to be team for quite some time <laughs> But very important moment this week, particularly first half of the week. Now, what is very nice in, in this combination for me, uh, people usually scare like you are certain that uh, boundaries, that, you know, restrictions. I, I never really saw it in that way. I mean, I really see, yes, it is boundaries, but push your boundaries further and then see what Saturn is for you. Whatever you start, what I'm saying, I'm also saying to my children, to my friends, now start something, but then you think big. Whatever you start, if you even uh, um, have got all things that you want to carry on moving, that was kind of uh, uh, stalling for a while or something, we all have things this Piscean season, something was muddy, they stuck. Now, if you want to move forward with something that you started already or it's all things that you're doing and it's a, a kind of stuck in a moment for a while, think big. Don't be, don't be shy. Be arrogant with yourself. I can do much more than this. I can do much further. Push your boundaries further and go for it. Now with Mars in here, with all this energy, and, and, uh, and sun in Aries as well. I mean, you will have energy for that. You will be supported. It's not going to be lack of energy, of enthusiasm. You'll have that. So now is the moment to think big and then wait for Saturn to be with you. It will push you. It will be unpleasant if you just go for a little, little bit of yourself. Push your limits. Push your limits. You yourself. And then get support. Ask for support from your heavens, from friends, from whoever. But push your limits, push your boundaries further. I think that is the major theme. And it's very, very positive. At least this half of, first half of this week. And then we do have a little bit of hiccup, <laughs> hiccup moment. It's not actually a hiccup moment, but it is this... Um, Mercury conjunct Neptune in Pisces, that's a very important moment. And then we're going to have a, a quarter moon in Cancer about the same time, like second half of this week, I think on Wednesday or something, don't take my words on it. But it is like this week and it's going to be in the second half. Uh, now, it will be, I mean, the, the, this Mercury is 
truth teller. It is ultimate communicator and now it's going into Neptune so it's not it's not warning now for you oh be careful it's gonna be blurry no you will see it yourself at that point nobody can tell you no you see this blur it is actually a fireworks no you will know no it's not you won't be believer this time that's what it says you will know it's a blur you won't know what exactly is going on but you will know that it was a blur you see what i'm saying it's not bad as it as it seems like we're gonna be manipulated no it exact it is exactly opposite we will see that it is manipulation or lies or blur or whatever you call it is going on no offense, no fights, nothing. There is not aggressive moment in here. It's just understanding, just knowing it. It's just knowing it, which is good, isn't it? Now, I'm not going to talk much longer about this. Now, quarter moon in Cancer, it tells me, yes, this Aries, I think it goes shoulder to shoulder with the Aries in Aquarius. Uh, sorry, not Aries, Mars. <laughs> Mars in Aquarius. Um, now, Mars in Aquarius, it says, Think of others, take other people in consideration, uh, be empathic. But now, quarter moon in Cancer will bring you back to reality. Look around yourself, look your nearest, look yourself. How do you feel about it? Combine, blend, balance. Combine, blend and balance. Whatever you do for others, do not harm others around yourself or yourself personally. Okay, another one, it's, I'm just looking at my notes, it's another one that I didn't tell you, and it is beautiful, it's about Venus, uh, Venus that is in perfect uh, um, aspect towards, uh, with, with, with Pluto and Jupiter, uh, all in Earth sign, Venus, Venus in, in, uh, uh, in Taurus, Pluto and Jupiter in Capricorn, all earthy, lovely, people are talking about uh, a love relationship at this point but I i'm not sure i think with venus here in taurus its own sign i think we're talking about values here just because everything is earthy here we're talking what is our real value where do we see value in uh, people or uh, situations or people people or institution or something that is above us what is what we took as an authority now we're looking with a um, to find the truth today what is a really value there for us and in general we will be looking for the true value around i think that what 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 uh, this earth um, combination the total earth combination is about but anyway not bad week, astrologic, as I said, first week, fantastic. If you have new project, particularly with this new moon in Aries, sun in Aries, uh, uh, Mars in Aquarius, everything, lots of energy, lots of energy for something. Whatever you want to move forward with, do it, particularly first week, uh, first part of this week. All right, so we're going to start spreading our cards. Hi Scorpio, this is your three cards, weekly tarot readings by M for the week starting 30th of March 2020. Alright, so it's going to be only three cards, we're going to have main energy for this week. And then cause of it and effect, just like that. Okay, let's see your main energy this week Scorpio. So it is Queen of Swords. Nice. And then, cause of it, is Ace of Swords. And then, effect is Ten of Pentacles. Sweet. Ten of Swords. Something was difficult there for you, and you're finishing indecisiveness perhaps or some hard work or uh, some situation that was prolonged some prolonged situation some unpleasant conversations that that ten of swords is very unpleasant uh, card but it says it's over 
it's over, it's completed. Whatever difficulties that you endured there, because you were enduring in your Ten of Swords, you did, it's over. Now, in that moment, when you understand now it's over with these difficulties, with this um, horrible time of my life or whatever, whatever. But there, at that point, you will understand there is something, something small that shows that is part of it. But this is kind of a seed for the future. You kind of see these small things that eventually will become meaningful. Something small will be important. You will understand there is something small still there in this unpleasant situation that will become very important for you. It might become very meaningful because there is Ace of Swords just after it. There was one. And you took it. Brilliant idea. And it's doable. Ace of Swords, it's of all Aces which have potential. All right, Ace of Swords is also potential. But it's something else when you have... Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups, you know, when you have this emotional, just feeling that something is going to make you happy, and Ace of Swords when you worked it out. You know, you worked it out, all of it. All details you've got in your mind, how to proceed, how to do, what is idea exactly, what exactly you're supposed to do. You're very precise in here, very intelligent and logical, particularly having Queen of Swords next to it, looking to Queen of Swords to show you a way to clear the path to, you know, it's fantastic, Queen of Swords I love it it can be a bit, you know um, edgy <laughs> of course, it can be a bit edgy, you know, you um, you not um, like you're rushing and you're doing it and you're understanding and other people don't follow your uh, um, quick mind, your quickness and then you edgy, you you know, you <laughs> tell them some words, <laughs> unpleasant ones, <laughs> Queen of Swords can be sometimes unpleasant but, but Queen of Swords does a lot, understands a lot Ex knows, knows exactly what the bullshit is and cuts it away and just going straight line what is shortest path to success I love it because I see a ten, ten of pentacles I'm not talking nonsense about success it's there it's somewhere there so queen of swords is paired with the strength card and then ace of swords is paired with Paged. What did I say? Paired with <laughs> King of Pentacles. Jesus, I, I have to take a break. Anyway, Ten of Pentacles here is oh, paired with Nine of Cups. Scorpio, you've got beautiful cards. And then we have Queen of Wands, another Queen. You, it is kind of Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, but. Queen of Wands, let me just explain, I don't know uh, which one I like better, I love all Queens, but Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords are my favorite. Now I'm telling you, Queen of Wands is same as Queen of Swords, but this one comes edgy and rushy and it can be very unpleasant sometimes if you don't follow, if you don't understand quickly. But the same thing, Queen of Wands, job done quickly, successfully understand exactly which way and how to do it but then with pleasure enjoying it you know that is queen of wands enjoying it understanding what exactly is supposed to do your best friend as well it could be your best friend somebody who helps you uh, with love understand exactly what you need you don't even have to ask you know this 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 energy this person with this energy comes and says oh here you are here you are, let me help you with it. Oh, you're so grateful. And it's done fully. It's not like done by the way. It's done better than you would that you would do that yourself. You see what I'm saying? Lovely queen of wands and enjoying it. And I think being influencing energy here and at the bottom within you, I think it's you. It's you, Scorpio, that you that you feel felt like that felt ready and happy to go and to work after this turn of swords when it's really bad meat, you know, you know that uh, um, in another deck when that person lies down, lying down with the ten of swords, ten swords in his back, like that kind of feeling, I'm um, bad meat here and tired. 
something new is coming with Ace of Swords and you are hip hip hooray let's go let's do you see let's that kind of ambition ambition is now brewing within you because it was maybe too long stagnant or something around you maybe I don't know but it wasn't it was it was hardship definitely now because I see now your cause energy of this week with king of pentacles and ace of swords ace of swords as i explained already let me not repeat it myself but with that sort of energy of uh, uh, this type of certainty in this potential that you have in your mind your ideas you see yourself as a king of pentacles you know if you work hard working hard and with pleasure okay king of pentacles says I will be authority in here in whatever it is whatever that's your choice this situation you will become supreme authority there with time with hard work that's what you know and, and you're not afraid you're happy with that being all right with that that's all your cause energies in here now this week Queen of Swords and the Strength. Yes, you do understand everything is clear in there, but the Strength card within you is, uh, is a bit, I think, you posing for a second. And you, you understand the situation, you understand which way you're supposed to go, you know exactly what you're supposed to do, but I think you're posing for a second for some reason. Preparing yourself for something else. In a gentle way, strong, gen strong but gentle way, you preparing yourself for this. It's like like that. What I understand that what you understand that you're going for, but it's big. It is big, and you kind of this week you are preparing. You bringing certainty. You know that is this something expansive. It number eight. Number eight. This card. You have to be prepared for something that it is a situation that you ha you haven't been there before. That that kind of big thing you haven't big been there before. You haven't been there, and it's big and it's meaningful. Career, money, family, everything. It's a wish card next to it. It's that what you always wanted. You see, it's something that you wanted. That what you're working towards. That's why this trend in the end. If you want to achieve that what you wanted, Ten of Pentacles, all to complete it. This is all completion in a way, the way you wanted it. Just to finish the situation all the way you wanted, you need a strength and a clear mind. Clear mind and strength to go through every single step of the way. Understanding everything, doing everything to perfection from A to Z. Absolutely. That what is this week. Lovely, lovely week. You, I think, uh, yes, Scorpio, beautiful readings, career-wise. This newness and it's even, it's... I think Gemini also did have something similar, like you wishing for something big. As I said at the beginning, you know, that conjunction with, I think, uh, uh, Mars and, uh, and uh, uh, what's the name? Mars is set and Saturn in uh, Aquarius, that is kind of energy this week that you feel for most of the people uh, it was this Neptune it was this blur but for you Scorpio it seems that sort of energy the drive uh, um, I think Mars was your cold ruler <laughs> uh, Pluto involved in in all these conjunctions and uh, um, combination with Venus that is your boost in here you are bringing your boundaries much further in front of yourself to that what you really wish not a halfway not a little bit no i wish for this and that's my goal that what you're doing now what your goal is that you're going to complete that completion you're looking forward to nine of cups your wish card you're working hard on it. You will work hard. You understand everything. Beautiful. Look at this clearance for you. Queen of Swords and the strength. Having all the strength and courage in this world within yourself. If you don't, if you said, ah, if it's 
that decision that you're gonna do so and so because this is decision this is understanding this is logic and if it's say you're not gonna sleep tonight and you're gonna work right, you will do it you've got strength for everything here to get there you pushed your boundaries really far great stuff I really love this even if it doesn't happen it's beautiful just to see it <laughs> this Scorpio enjoy it